What's up guys? For today's video, I'm gonna go over the full process I use for prepping aluminum and epoxy for paint. I've got a couple odds and ends in the boat that still need to get finished so we can get everything installed and ready for rigging. If you guys are new to this channel, there's a link to a playlist in the description that covers everything we've done to this boat to get to this point. Also, if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing because I got a lot of great stuff coming up throughout the year just like this. So without further delay, I'm gonna take aluminum that looks like this and turn it into this. Let's get started. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these plates out of the boat. And the first thing I need to do is get them sanded down. That'll get rid of any of the rust and corrosion and get the surfaces ready for paint. Once I get the plates here prepped, I'm also gonna be pulling off the front face to this hatch here, and I'm gonna get that painted as well. That way, everything can all get painted and reinstalled into the boat when it's done. All right, to get these prepped, I'm just gonna be using my sander here. I have used this one pack of 80 grit Diablo sandpaper for literally two and a half boats. So if you guys are looking for a really good sandpaper, that's a good general purpose sandpaper that works for everything you're gonna be doing with a boat, I'll throw a link in the description. These have lasted me absolutely forever. I love that it came in such a huge pack because now I don't have to stretch them. I just use them till they get slightly dull and then throw on a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and sand off all of the rust, corrosion, uh, and everything on the plates here. We're gonna get these all painted up along with the front bench cover, and that's gonna get all of the painting done for the boat. Like I said, when you use the right tools, it goes so, so much easier. I've tried a lot of different grits and types of sandpaper, but this just works really well stripping down aluminum. I've also used this on the boats for removing paint and stuff like that too. So like I said, a really good general purpose sandpaper. All right, so the back side I'm not stripping down completely. I just wanted to get any rust off because rust promotes rust. Um, I also went ahead and smoothed up all the sides just to make this look a little bit cleaner. Overall though, this is looking pretty perfect. Uh, now I just need to get this one prepped. The other wood out here, we can get this all painted up. All right, so first thing I need to do is wipe these plates down. I think I'm gonna use acetone uh, just to get them completely stripped of any paint or any of the dust that we got here, and then they'll be ready for painting. Now, normally I would use aluminum brightener, but I'm all out. So acetone is definitely the next best thing. Oh, am I out of acetone too? Crap. And now the, uh, the bottoms are not gonna get fully painted, but I am gonna hit the screw holes with some paint. That will keep any corrosion from forming there. So it's just gonna do a little bit around each screw hole. All right, and last piece is gonna be our epoxied front cover. This is gonna get painted alongside with these cover plates for the benches that are gonna reinforce the seating. So again, we're sticking with this uh, smoke gray Rust-Oleum gloss enamel. It's been working out so far, so I'm just gonna roll with it. All right, with everything wiped down, we are good to paint.
All right, that was using up the rest of the one can I had. Now we can get to the real painting. Well, I gotta say that looks a ton better than how it did. all looking really good i'm gonna let this dry then i'm gonna hit it with another coat and these should be ready for installation all right now that everything has started to dry i'm bringing everything back into the garage the first thing we have here is the front cover this looks really good it got a nice coat of paint on it Okay, so everything lined up perfect. We got this reinstalled into the boat. Now I may paint the screw caps just to hide them a little bit, but honestly, the stainless steel doesn't look bad. So I may just leave them just as like a little bit of an accent piece. Uh, I'm also considering doing some kind of graphics along the front here. So until I make a decision about that, I'm just gonna leave the screws as they are. Wow. Just getting those last couple items painted really ties this whole look together. Man, that really looks awesome. All right, so these are the last things I need to get ready. I basically need to do the same thing where I get them sanded down and painted up. That way when they get installed, they'll look like they match the boat. All right, these look pretty good. Let's get them washed off and then ready for paint. Go, go. Yes, our shepherd has fallen in love with the garden hose. We can't do any watering without this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see if I could paint them like this. That way I can get the edges well. Let's see how this goes. Got about a quarter can of my spray paint left, so. Okay, that looks good. All right, well, these painted up really well. I still have about a quarter can left of this in case I need to do any touch-ups anywhere. And uh, now I just gotta wait for this to dry. I'm gonna give this a couple hours and then we can get everything installed back into the boat. All right, with the seat post mounts all painted up, let's put them in the boat and see what they look like. Here's the first one. Oh yeah, this looks a million times better. Okay, so now that we see the seat bases look and fit correct, I'm gonna put a hold on those for now until I get some better fasteners that are gonna work for this area. I think both would have the strength needed to hold this in place. I'm leaning a little bit more towards the rivets though, because these front spots here, this actually doesn't have the room under it to run a bolt down. These were actually run from the underside of the plate last time, but that left the stems and the uh, nuts on top, which looked terrible. So I'm wanting to run my my fasteners down into the seat just to keep this looking clean. So I think to make this easy is if I got some rivets, I could just drill straight down, pop the rivets in the front here. The rivets will already fit in those spots and that will get those plates secured. Rivets will be more than enough to hold that plate in place. So now that we have the front bench cover, the seat plates and the seat mounts all painted and installed into the boat for the most part, one last thing I wanna do to tie everything together is fix the foam on the ribs. I really don't like the splits that I did the last time and it's also causing the foam to kind of peel up a little bit around the rib area there. So what I'm gonna do is pull these floors out. Thankfully, I had used Velcro, so that should be pretty easy. And I'm just gonna trim the foam around the edges that we already cut for the flooring, and that should really just make everything look really clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these two floors out. I'll trim them up, put them back in, and we'll see how it looks. There we go, we got our Velcro still in place. 
So as you can see right here, this is what I was referring to. Even though I have the split in the foam, it's still kind of pulling it off the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this up in a nice circle. Uh, that way it looks nice and clean, but also adheres to the wood really well. I'm almost wondering if I should use my hole saw if that would get through the foam without damaging it. Maybe I could use the hole saw to start a groove and then come back with the blade. I just wanna make sure I'm getting a nice clean circle here. I don't want it to look jagged, but I also don't want it to look wonky. I'm gonna grab my hole saw kit and see if that's gonna be an option. All right, I figure we'll just start with one, see if it works. If not, I can always clean one up. Uh, and if it does, great, this will be a lot easier for the other ones. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that got a nice line. I don't know how it's gonna cut all the way through. Let's see. Can clean this up some. So we want this to be straight. All right, big reveal. How bad does it look? That's not too bad. Let's put it in the boat and see how it looks. That's gonna be the big question. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on the other side and see how it looks matching both sides. The only cleanup is just trying to make them straight since it cuts it in a circle. Yeah, I mean, that does make a nice cut here. I'm really okay with that. Let's get this one back in the boat and just double check everything. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that looks better than the slits. You can see here with the cutouts on both sides and then over here with the slits in each corner. I do think that that looks a lot cleaner. So let's go ahead and pull this one out, try our luck with the whole saw again, and hopefully that cleans that up. Man, you've got to love that Velcro. All right, let's just run through these and see how it looks at the end. So I thought the foam would get a lot more chewed up, but it's actually cutting really nice. The only parts I'm cleaning up is these little nubs right here, just to make sure it looks straight and not like a circle. Oh yeah, that's nice and clean. That's perfect. If we're just cutting out for the ribs, I'm really happy with this. I don't need to torch myself over these. These look fine. Overall, I feel like this really ties it together and makes it look a lot cleaner. All right, so with those last couple items done, the cosmetic portion of the boat is pretty much finished. We have our floors, we have everything painted, we have our seat bases ready to go. At this point, it's gonna be on to final installations and rigging. If you guys found this video helpful for how to prep and paint aluminum and epoxy, give it a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up for this boat. Thanks for watching.